Hi everybody, I'm Elke. I'm here today to tell you a bit about my life as a natural builder over 25 plus years um, and share images of projects and situations with people around the globe. None of this is going to be linear and it's not in order of time. These are people who have supported me on this journey and been project leaders, visionaries, and they are the we that helps me form a vision of what I want to see in the world and the world that we can create that we want to believe in and foster. It starts for me with how everybody having an appropriate home. And that looks different in different countries, like here, examples from Canada and one example from Tanzania. They don't all look the same, but they are places that make people feel good to be there. As do these places to play and learn and hang out uh, situations in, these are all on Vancouver Island that I've built. I feel that we need to create way more color, bring more color into our lives and let people have a smile on their face when they're entering a space. And we need places that make us go quiet and go inward to do yoga, to meditate and just be with ourselves in a quiet way, away from the noise of our lives and the exterior. It is so important for all of us to be connected to nature that we need to bring in these opportunities even in our buildings or in situations that we can create where people can be somewhat sheltered in nature. So I invite you to think about that when you're planning something like your garden or your, your uh, classroom. I've been working with people everywhere in, the, in collaborative situations and people of all ages. And together, we can do this. We can create the world we want to see. So the next slide is going to take us into our creativity. Mud is the most wonderful material to start getting creative. And if you ever started with this, you will know how easy it is to create something, to shape it. And you can take that from a little thing on top of your wall or on your table, all the way to a building that surrounds you. And you're going to be doing this with your body and you're connecting with the earth by working with your body. And you'll be so much more grounded than when we're continuously faced with technology. My most blissful state is always when I'm working with mud. That doesn't mean we don't hang on to our intelligence and our minds. So we need to apply the things we know and our technologies that are modern will, will help us improve things while maintaining methods that we are bringing from our history forward. Everywhere I go, it's, it's really important to me that I work with the generations, with different generations. Children benefit so much from being with their elders and elders benefit from being with children. We need to know each other and we need to do things together to enjoy the exchange of wisdom and understanding. And community. In community, we can share what we know, people can understand each other and we can create a common ownership of what is happening and of, of projects that are intended to be open to the community. Simplicity in space is also important to me so that people can have a freedom to explore and, and change spaces and stay. In, in this case, you can see it's connected to op with open panels to the outside. So you can open and close, you can arrange furniture and you can use these spaces for different functions. And together with that, also the proper scale for what we're going to be doing in a building is important. Let's not overbuild in size when it comes to living spaces, but make it big enough, but just snug enough too, to fit the people that are using it. And my favorite thing in the world is always to work with groups of women on different projects, from stove building to house building. We're having fun together and we're learning together. And there's always a lively exchange of what each of us can bring to the situation. 
like I said, we have a lot of fun. And when you can have fun, things are lighter and things move forward and we are inspired more than if we're feeling some sense of drudgery in our work. So for me, I'm a happy person when I'm teaching. In different countries, we have to always pay attention to the different situation as well. So we employ permaculture strategies to make decisions about how to build, where to build, with what to build, with whom to build, and which strategies are gonna be working to get the best out of the local situation. And we work with natural and local materials, like this one here is raffia palm in Cameroon, used for everything from furniture to roofs to floors. And it's harvested sustainably in small scale, and people know how to work with this. So it's an appropriate uh, choice for that place. Traditional ways of doing things, we also need to not forget. These women cook on the floor. They prepare things while sitting on the floor, basically, and that is something that is difficult for them to change at this point. It's habitual. And the men love to drink their mimbo, their palm wine. And palm wine, of course, also gets served at celebrations like this. And I want to remind us all that we need to celebrate our work everywhere and all the time. <laughs> 